down inside in some area of your life you have almost surrendered and you know that if you persist a little longer maybe you get success in that area but some activities and some actions and some happenings from the recent past i would say around the month of april from that time such circumstances are surrounding you that due, due to those due to the outcome of those circumstances you have started feeling that oh, i am in the wrong place i should not be doing this maybe i should be doing something else or maybe i should change my course of action altogether or start exploring new ventures or new domains you may be feeling like this in some area of your life and on 16th of july this year 2019 you will have the lunar eclipse in the sign of sagittarius which will be with uh, saturn and ketu because moon will be in sagittarius in the last degrees in fact so depending on the ayanam sha it could also go to capricorn but in general this could be in the 29th degree of the zodiac sign of sagittarius because on 16th sun will be in the 29th degree of gemini directly opposite and that's a full moon and we know that whenever rahu and ketu are in close proximity of the new moon or the full moon then there are eclipses all right so this time uh, ketu will also be uh, close not very close though of moon so there you could say that this is a lunar eclipse all right and many times people have questions that oh this eclipse may be visible in india or africa america canada will the people Uh, where the eclipses are not visible in those countries will they be affected well everybody will be affected in a positive or negative way Dep- it doesn't matter where you stay uh, we cannot always uh, coincide you know geographical things with astrological subtle phenomena not necessarily always of course at one level we could say that the places where this these eclipses are visible they will feel it a bit more than the places the people of the places where it's not visible but that's not the rule that it's not visible in my country so it's not going to impact me okay and there's another question which is raised sometimes that okay i was born in a particular country and now i stay in another country all right so suppose the eclipse is visible in my birth country where i don't stay now and it is not visible in the current place where i stay now will it still hold true for me so again the same principle is it will hold true irrespective of where you stay you stay in your birth country or at a drastically different place okay or inside within your country in another state where there is difference of food or language or clothes all right so we need to make the facts very clear before we jump into eclipses okay so let us discuss shortly on this eclipse and what happens after this eclipse will depend on your individual birth chart the planets which are there in gemini and sagittarius and which dashas you are running the nakshatras that are linked to your sun moon and rahu ketu and the lords of the dashas okay antar dasha pratyantar dasha and mahadasha of course so when we make a judgment we need to analyze the entire chart because eclipses are very rare occurrences they happen only once twice or thrice or at max four times in a year or could be sometimes a bit more also but they are very rare occurrences okay they they are not very you know, frequent occurrences like the new moon or the full moon which keeps happening every month so the eclipses set the trend for the next 6 months all right so it is very important to understand the energy of the eclipses and we need to analyze it as i said from the entire birth chart and if you want some help regarding that and you are confused or you want to know how this will turn out for you then you could always go to my website down in the description section to the link where you will 
you will be able to uh, book a reading with me personally okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in this eclipses all right so as usual in the astrological community in youtube there's a lot of fear mongering which is going on in the name of this eclipse and the previous eclipse also which happened in gemini the solar eclipse on july 2nd so let me rest assure everybody that you have lived so many eclipses either it's lunar or solar you have survived so hopefully you will also live after this eclipse okay so don't worry you will not die your life will not be ruined you you will not be thrown out of your job or you won't have a divorce just because there's an eclipse all right so throw away these misconceptions because there are many people who uh, will create fear in the name of eclipses so that you run to them all right so don't listen to them and ruin your lives all right so now what this eclipse is going to bring to us well it will depend on your chart but at a generic sense let us try to understand what is happening there's a full moon happening in the gemini and sagittarius axis so what what, what does it uh, mean when i say there's a full moon full moon technically as per astrology it means that sun and moon are very close in seven houses okay they are exactly at the same degree so moon is in sagittarius that day in the last degrees and sun is in the last degree of gemini okay 29 degrees so therefore technically this full moon is occurring which is known as purnima okay so the word purnima means what pur pur means something is coming into pur means purnam all right it means something is coming to completion you are able to realize that totally completely you are your awareness is very high okay so what what happens in a full moon actually full moon means sun which represents your kingdom and moon represents how you feel about your kingdom kingdom doesn't mean you uh, own a country or a billion dollar estate but kingdom means the things that are under your control in this world okay so for example for me this chair is under my control where i'm sitting i can keep it i can donate it or i can break it or i can burn it it's up to me but the chair in the next room in my neighbor's room is not under my control all right so that chair which is in the other room in my neighbor's house is not a part of my kingdom okay so this chair is a part of my kingdom but how do i feel about this chair am i enjoying when i sit in this chair or i am going round and round <laughs> or i am unhappy that i am sitting in this chair this chair is so disgusting it's so bad what do i feel about this chair that's what the moon is okay so uh, that is why moon is always more important than the sun in traditional vedic astrology because you may have a big kingdom a great kingdom you may have money you may have resources but suppose you are not happy with those resources so ultimately you will be miserable at the end okay but suppose you have a small kingdom all right but you are very happy inside then you will be very jolly you will be very satisfied you will enjoy life but the other way around may not be true so now when sun and moon are exactly seven houses apart what happens is you are totally aware of your surroundings your kingdom and how you feel about it okay so this is like saying okay i know i have these things and how do i feel can, can i uh, does these resources serve the necessary purpose okay and because they are exactly seven houses apart you can realize this fully now the planets where which are conjunct the full moon or the axis where the full moon is happening in your chart depending on your ascendant okay so uh, for example if your ascendant is aries then this full moon is happening in your 39 uh, axis okay so that means moon is in sagittarius which is your ninth house and sun is in your third house so now again not moon sign okay not by your moon sign by your ascendant don't make that confusion so depending on your ascendant wherever sagittarius is falling and wherever gemini is falling you can check that axis so now what will happen is because saturn is conjunct this full moon okay and ketu is also there 
and moon as you know what does moon represent moon represents the way you feel about things in life okay that's why it's the karaka for the mind chandrama manaso jataha that shloka is there so when moon is conjunct saturn and ketu in transit or especially when at times like this you know full moon or an eclipse uh, and especially when planets like ketu is present then what could happen is we could be very much conscious about the limitations that we face in life sometimes okay now this can be good and this can be bad also now how can this be good or rather i would say it depends on you how you take it so many people say that limitations are bad many people say limitations are good okay so let's try to understand with an example so suppose i tell you that uh, you you have to eat an ice cream and i give you three options to choose from and suppose i tell you now you have to eat another ice cream but there are 100 options to choose from so which one will you like will you uh, like to choose one from three options or from a thousand options or a hundred options well any intelligent person would say it's better i choose from the three options right because then it will be easier for me to choose but the mind is going to tempt us by telling us that no 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 only three options are there you know how can you choose from three better you go and choose from one of the hundred and then what happens you will unnecessarily complicate your life okay so in this case restrictions are good you are restricted to three options not 100 options so but in some cases you know restrictions may be difficult for us sometimes so again as i said it depends on your consciousness and your level of awareness and your goals and your wishes and dreams and aspirations in life okay if that restriction or that limitation i would say not restriction i would say limitation will turn out to be good for you or bad for you all right so we cannot make a blanket statement that oh this restriction is good or that restriction is bad so for another example is when a child is very small the father and mother have have has to discipline that child their child okay otherwise the child will not study the father has to put limitations on the child that you must study from 6 pm to 9 pm okay otherwise he or she may be playing video games all the evening and the child may not study and then the mother and father becomes very concerned okay so similarly uh, somebody may bring some fancy stuff from the market and give to the child but the mother may say my dear child this is not good for you you should not eat this all right so you are putting limitations to the access of the child but the child's future is bright if these limitations are there and if there are no limitations then as they say you know spoiled brat <laughs> so many times we encounter limitations in life and we convince ourselves and to everybody else that my life is terrible my life is ruined because of these limitations but we really have to ask ourselves is it actually the case because many times limitations can give us the picture of where we lie which means i know many people who will tell me that oh sir uh, i am earning suppose in india 10 lakh rupees per month uh, per year sorry and i want to earn 20 lakhs 30 lakhs and when i am earning i am getting rejected i am not able to go through interviews i am not able to crack the exams or some other official procedure somehow i am always getting restricted <coughs> okay so of course you can always try things in life you have a job you are not satisfied you can try for a better job or a different job with the same pay scale or the same domain that's perfectly fine but if you are facing rejections on every front then maybe it can also mean that you are entering a wrong place it may happen that even if you get that you will not be able to sustain it <coughs> yes many times i have seen people <coughs> they get such great things in life but they cannot maintain that why because they are somehow not having that uh, discipline which is required to maintain big things in life okay so for example if you have a car small car not very expensive maybe you can just keep it or maintain it but 
suppose tomorrow if you have a big car like you know the rolls royce or fan rolls royce phantom or porsche or some other fancy car then suppose if you are very responsible you do not put the right fuel you do not refuel the tank uh, when it's required or you don't clean the car the way you maintain your uh, so called cheap car if you maintain your rolls royce like that then what will happen the car will spoil yes it will be spoiled in no time and uh, you will not be able to access the benefits which are there in that luxury vehicle okay so many times when we get disappointed in life by limitations which the universe puts on us depending on our karma sometimes we really have to sit down and ask that is this limitation necessarily for my bad or am i expecting too much from life okay so this full moon will give us an opportunity to uh, ponder upon things like how much should i expect how much is it real for me to expect and from whom that is the most important thing because always remember the cause of anxiety is un unending expectations he should do this she should do this why he didn't do that why she didn't do that well why will they do what you want they will do what they want right <laughs> nobody is sitting around here waiting to please us to give us pleasure or to give us happiness because happiness is an inside job it is it is my duty to make myself happy it is not i cannot depend on my happiness uh, for somebody you know else nobody else can make me happy yeah they they may give me some level of happiness when uh, we share our happiness with each other but at the end our happiness is our sole responsibility we cannot blame it on somebody else all right or something else when we start doing that what happens uh, we get into addictions okay we start abusing things we start abusing people that's uh, the norm of the society these days that things are uh, given much more prominence than people you see because things are used and people are not used but nowadays people are also used yes many times i get messages where people tell me oh that person used me he used me she used me well that's what is happening that we treat humans also like objects many of us all right but that's very unfortunate we should not do like that and that therefore we should understand uh, that where 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 are my limitations and what can i do at a lot positive in a positive sense we should try to think how we can go ahead these limitations by that i don't mean that you make another plan to cross that limitation it means how to get rid of this conception of limitation okay because many a times you will see that you have so many things in life but you're still not happy but you think that okay if i get that then i will be happy so then you feel that there's a limitation in my life because i don't have that which i want and in that case what happens you end up feeling more miserable more depressed more terrible more sad you feel sorry for yourself and that get gets you into depression and you are into drugs and uh watching uh, adult material pornography in the internet or talking to people about sexuality or you know smoking cigarette drinking these are all symptoms of a pathetic miserable down to earth lifestyle which you are having all right so and when i say this i am not speaking on any religious front i am not saying that some religious book is telling that you know this is bad or this is good no let's use some common sense we can talk about religion later so during this eclipse we need to realize that there could be certain things in our life which is limiting us from achieving our highest level of potential and that can be anything that can be our mobile uh, that could be facebook youtube instagram that could be a person anybody that could be a substance abuse anything it can be okay that can be food that can be anything so when we start making imaginary scenarios about why my life is not the way i want then we need to ponder we need to think we need to analyze that what are those things that we are doing in our life which are pulling us down from 
achieving our highest potential so before before we complain about limitations let us make sure that we are in a position to make the uh, full full effort okay because if we are having limitations inside if we are having roadblocks inside then what happens is externally even if there are good things we we will not be able to enjoy them we will not be able to feel satisfaction from them we will always complain we will always hanker for new 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 stuff you know newer stuff as my guru used to say you know the same old wine in a new glass <laughs> so it means okay uh, i brought this car i am not happy so what do i do okay now i will buy another car but it's just a car sir it will just take you from one place to the other it, it it will it will not make your life jolly necessarily you will feel bit better in the initial days but now buying a car doesn't mean it's bad or doesn't mean that it's sinful but what i'm saying is the car has its own purpose it can give you some relief uh, not relief or so some temporary pleasure till the time you sit in the car but the moment you are outside in your room well if your life is not balanced if it is not in harmony with your actions then you will still be unhappy in life all right so this eclipse is the time when we should figure out what are the things that are limiting us all right and what are the things that we can do by which we can achieve our highest level of potential this is what this eclipse will tell us and this is what our eclipse will most likely show us our limitations that why we are not able to achieve something okay so there you go that is it from my side about this eclipse i hope it made some sense to somebody <laughs> and yes if you are interested in knowing what this eclipse will do to you personally at an individual level specifically depending on your horoscope and your planets and your dashas most importantly then you could always go to my website down in the description section to book a reading personally with me one to one okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and i hope and i wish and i pray that you will find those things which are limiting you and your belief systems okay thank you very much namaste bye bye